Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Arch with Imran. I'm Imran. I hope you guys are having a great day. And today I'm going to be showing you how you can make these quick context massings of anywhere in the world for free in a matter of minutes. So let's get into it. So before we start making the actual massing itself, we need to download a couple of things. So we're going to do those now. Now I'm going to show you guys how I found them, but there'll be links to them in the description. So you can just download them straight from there. So first things first, we're going to be using a Blender plugin to do this. So first we're going to need to download Blender. Now Blender is free to download, so I'll put a link in the description. And we're also going to download this plugin called OSM. Again, the link will be in the description. Now there is a paid version with more complex details in it, but the free version is fine for what we need to do. So you can download that here. You simply need to put in an email and then you'll be able to download the file. So now basically what we're going to do is we're just going to quickly set a blender. I'm just going to hit next, next and install and it should start to install blender. And when you hit finish, it should open it. Now that we've got everything installed that we need, what we're going to do is we're going to need to do a couple of things in blender just to configure it ready to do the model import. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on new file general. And another thing you need to remember is there is a letter N on your keyboard and this will open this side toolbar that you've just seen me use. We're going to need that later. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go on to edit preferences. And we're going to click on add ons. So we're then going to click on install and you need to go find the download wherever you got that from, from the OSM and it should be a zip file. So I've put it in this folder, so we're going to hit install. Then what you want to do is you want to hit the tick and you're going to want to hit the arrow. And then what we're going to do is we're going to need a folder somewhere where it can just save um, data. Now this doesn't matter and it can be deleted once you've done the import. It's just where it saves it in the time that you're in importing it. So I've put it in a random folder in one of my videos. Doesn't really matter where you put it. So now we've got all that set up, we're going to hit N on the, on the keyboard again to bring up this toolbar and we're going to click on the OSM tab. Now it's important to note you can import loads of different stuff. You can do open street map data where you can download buildings and context, but you can also download things like terrain and other features. So what we're going to do now is we need to choose the area we're going to use. We're going to hit the select button and you should get this pop up. Now my area is somewhere in Cambridge. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom into the area I want to use. And then when you have the area, you're going to hit show, rec show selection rectangle on the left side of the screen. Now this will bring up a box and this is all of the context that we're going to be downloading. So you can resize this to whatever size you want and all data will be imported at one to one. So once you've got that, you're going to hit copy and you'll copy this coordinates into your clipboard and then you're going to hit paste and import. Now, if you give it a second, it will just load and it should appear with all of your buildings. So as I zoomed out, you can now see it's got all of our context and you can use the X, Y and Z in the corner to move around the model. What I'm going to now do is I'm just going to save this file so I have it for future reference. And then I'm going to export it. Now we're going to choose .obj file so we can open it in Rhino and put it in our model. So here we have a Digimap file that I've just downloaded and it's got the, the context of the site. Um, I'm going to be using this so I can overlay my model on it as well as the context. So I'm just going to add a thin base. And then I'm going to hide it. I'm now going to make a new layer for the context buildings. And then I'm going to set it as my active layer. Then what we're going to do is we're going to do file import and you're going to want to select that .obj file you've just saved. 
Now, again, you wanna remember, if you're doing something like I'm doing, you need to make sure that this Digimap file is one-to-one. -one. So I'm gonna select groups and we're gonna hit okay. Now you will see the model will be slightly flipped. And what you wanna do is you wanna click on the red arc and you just wanna hit 90 and this will make it flat. Then what we're gonna to need to now do is we're gonna to need to move this to part of the diagram. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna select a point that you can see clearly, and then we're gonna copy it to the base. I'm gonna choose this corner here. And what we're gonna do first is we're gonna do something called mesh to nub. What that does is it takes it from a solid .obj file to something that we can individually use in Rhino. Now all of these will be connected in a group. If you do want to change that, what you can do is you can type explode and it will explode it into a number of faces. Now I apologize for the, for the slowness, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this to the corner and then if you zoom out, you should have all the context ready. I'm now gonna delete the other one. And as I mentioned, what you can do is we can now explode it and then we can delete all of the area larger than the base. So guys, unfortunately that's all we have time for. Hopefully you found this helpful and I'll catch you guys in another video. Take it easy.